How's everybody doing? My name is Brady. I'm the owner of the Alabama EDC page and the Alabama EDC YouTube channel. I'm a college student, so I go to school at the University of Alabama. I'm a public relations major. So I'm not your typical EDC guy. I'm not your typical member of the EDC community. But I guess one of the things that makes our community pretty good is that it's very diverse in the things that people do. Like you have some tradesmen, you have some welders, you have people like that that get out there and do the, the rough and tumble jobs. But you also got guys out there and gals that do the do the office kind of work and do the other kinds of work that keep everything running. So I'm going to show you a few different things that I carry every day. Uh, at UA, we actually have a, there's a limit on the length of a knife. So it's a six inch blade limit. So pretty much all of these fall under that. I don't ever really need to carry a knife above three or four inches. Four is probably the most. So I usually keep something in my backpack and I keep one or two in my pocket at all times. But the ones I usually keep in my backpack are these, the Victorinox, the Swiss Army knives. This is the one I carry the most in my backpack. I keep this one at home a lot. Or take it, if I ever go, whenever I go fishing, I usually carry this one. But I really like this one. I believe this is the, the Scout. Or the Cadet one. I like the little stainless blade on it. It's really nice. It's done a lot of good work for me. It still has its original edge. Need to touch it up some. It's got the nail file on it with the little fingernail cleaner. And you have your two, you have your can opener and you have your bottle opener with a wire stripper down there too. If you can see it. I got a little light sitting here in front of me. And then on my primary fishing knife, well, I usually carry like a Leatherman or a Gerber multi-tool with pliers on it for when I go fishing. But I also carry this one. Usually, uh, like these fingernail clippers are good for, you know, obviously clipping your fingernails, but I also enjoy using it to clip off the end of knots that I've just tied. Really nice little bitty blade on it. A little blade does what you need it to. And you have your file, nail thing, pretty standard. Also enjoy these scissors. Scissors a lot. They're not the most precise thing in the world. That's when I use the nail clippers if I'm cutting fishing line or something or string. But these are good for just cutting like string off your shirt or something like that. And one of the knives I carry if I'm out doing just kind of just work work like outside in my backyard or something like that. I carry this one around. It's a little skeletal Gerber. Good little knife. Has a good edge on it. I got this for Christmas one year. Really enjoy that one. Get a lot of good use out of it. Only gripe I have is that sometimes your finger can get up in here and you'll nick yourself on the blade. And now getting into some of the knives I really do enjoy is CRKT. Is I like the price point because you know I'm in college and I'm on a budget for most of the things that I do. So it's a CRKT Thero. Really enjoy this knife. A good hand feel, get a full, full four finger grip on it. It's got a good jimping on the back right there. If you can see that, if you can see that right there. I got a little light here in front of me. A good little knife, I really enjoy that one. Funny story about this one, I was actually at Universal with my college church group and uh, I got this confiscated in the line because I forgot it was in my backpack. And here to probably my favorite CRKT knife is the Endorser. I really like the G10 scales in that, the long pocket, the long pocket clip right here. It just kind of gives me a, an old timey wood feel, but it still feels modern. So I really enjoy that. Nice opening action, good assisted open. Again, a good hand feel like the other one. Uh, sometimes I'll hold it up here on the blade, sometimes I'll hold it here on the jimping. It's got some curved jimping on the back right here, if you can see that. So I really enjoy that one. Got a lot of use out of that one over the years. Again, a good action. Now going to some, some of my case knives. I have this Stockman. This is the only Stockman I own right now. 
I'm looking to add to my collection. Got the sheep's foot blade. You got the the castration blade. I forget the true name of it. And you have your, I believe it's the clip blade. It's the name of this one. Got eight dots, so it's a 2022 stainless steel. I'm. It's got the amber jig peach seed bone on it. Right there. I usually carry it and and my little yellow Delrin sidebuster in this sheath from EDC Leatherworks. I really like what he made here. I like the green on the back. Very well made, well put together. Love the little thing. I love this pocket clip more than anything. That's the main thing that made me buy this is because I don't usually wear jeans a lot, especially in the summertime. I'm usually wearing shorts and in the winter, I usually wear sweatpants, honestly, because it's just more comfortable to go to class than than jeans to me. Um, so I really like that, especially for a lot of my case knives, I can just throw it in there, clip it into my sweatpants or my shorts and it isn't gonna go anywhere. I really enjoy the product from Randy over at EDC Leatherworks, Georgia Adventure. And here's, speaking of my little Yellow Delrin Sodbuster Jr. There she is right there. Got some nice uh, carbon steel. I really enjoy the carbon steel. I like how well it holds an edge. I like the patina that it gets on it because you don't worry about trying to keep it pretty all the time. This is also an eight dot. So it's 2022. Got this one for about $30. Good little deal. It's the only Sidebuster Junior that I own, but it's a good little work knife whenever I'm out doing stuff. Or if I'm not having my granddaddy out on his farm. And, but again, it fits perfectly into this little sidebuster sheath. Really enjoy it. And the other case knife I'll show today. I have a few other cases, but I'll show them in their own videos. Because a few of them are like my church knives. The knives I only carry when I'm going to church. Or like for when you dress up. So here's my my dark red bone peach seed jig uh, carbon steel trapper. I really enjoy the carbon steel in this trapper. It's actually the first trapper that I have. It's the only trapper that I own. I own a copperhead, but I'll show that in a different video because that's probably the prettiest knife that I own. See, this one's already starting to develop a patina on it. I've cut a few apples with it. Done really good on that. And here's the other blade. I believe it's called Spade Blade. And it's still pretty, pretty shiny. Pretty good looking. Got a few fingerprints on it. Let me wipe them off. Got those right there. Haven't used that one yet to cut much of anything. And I usually carry it in this, this sheath right here from Randy over at EDC Leatherworks. Again, really good product, really enjoy it. Let me show it to you there. I like the rainbow stitching on it. If, I'm, if I ever am wearing a belt, I'll throw this on my belt, but most of the time I just throw it in my pocket. I'll be honest with you. I like the little snake on me, on, on it, sorry. It reminds me of the don't tread on me snake. Well made. I, I'd be hoping to get one custom made from Randy that would you know have my initials or something on it or would have a cross with the uh, the rainbow and the, like a pocket clip because the rainbow reminds me of the coat of many colors from the bible you know so i really enjoy that one really well made again good product fits it can fit my little stockman I'm pretty sure it would fit a large stockman it fits my copper head this also fits my copper head Uh, I believe this also can fit, yeah, it fits a Gerber pretty well, but there's no really point in that because it's got a pocket clip on it. But, I don't know, I just really enjoy what Randy does over there at EDC Leatherworks. Good, good product that he makes. So, I appreciate y'all for putting up with me for a minute. I got some allergies right now because the grass and all that kind of stuff has been going crazy here in Alabama. It's, uh, it's been getting me, but again, 
Really enjoy these products. Some of my main EDC items. And I actually just ordered a Benchmade bug out. I found like a $150 in Academy gift cards in my room from just various Christmases and birthdays that I haven't used. So I said, well, you know, I'll probably just use them on getting a bug out because I've been wanting one. It's about 171. It, Academy had it for $171. So I spent about $20 out of pocket, but I'll pay about 20 bucks out of pocket for a Benchmade bug out. It's my first Benchmade knife. My uncle, uh, who runs a pretty big watch and knife page, like EDC page, wristwatch check daily. That's the name of it. If y'all want to go check it out, uh, he's he's pretty big into that. He, it's one of his main EDC things is the bitch made bug out. But again, I appreciate y'all's time. Uh, I'm excited to get to kind of dive into this community and get to know some of y'all. I know it'll probably be a little bit of a slow start, but hopefully we can start picking it up. Uh, thank y'all for your time and. Have a good day. Have a blessed day.